So in order to do that, we need to not only bring that perspective to our relationship with the United States, which is critical and they have been but also to our relationship with China, particularly to our relationships with Southeast Asian nations, uh, and also uh, our relationship with uh, India, uh, Japan and South Korea, because they do also have an interest. Those nations uh, also have an interest uh, in the sort of region that I'm describing. Uh, so when you say responsibility, uh, I don't think of it only in terms of what it is in the media about this particular thing that we've got or might not do. I think this is a much uh, more, I suppose, medium and long-term strategic objective that's going to apply a whole range of work across a whole range of relationships. You talked about Labor's tradition. We are a party that, has an, that is internationalist in our now, that has been our tradition of politics. We should be internationalist in our outlook, or we should be internationalist in our practice, in our practice and we should be constructive in how we approach that work. Thanks, Penny. Now, I'm getting the wind up on. Before I open up to questions to the audience, just lighten the mood a little bit. I'm going I'm to just give you a phrase or a name, and I want you to just react to it. You know this one, don't you? Word association. Word association. Are you ready? Yeah. Julie Bishop. Cheers. Very good. That's, Emo that's probably not very feminist, is it? <laughs> it's just like the shoes that the news likes to wear. Emojis. Very Trump. Tweets. Kim Jong-un. Profits. Putin. ATC. Hate speech. Hate speech. Please explain. Uh, in. <laughs> Marriage equality, you can talk about this. But in a word, how would you sum that up? Joy. Joy. And here's a good one Adelaide. Family. Thank you, Penny. Thank you very much. So, if you have any questions in the audience, I'm going to be tougher than my questions. So, let's start with that young gentleman up the back there with his hand up. Watch will be roaming around. Thanks. As you mentioned, uh, Bill Shorten outlined Labor's vision for uh, foreign, foreign policy agenda today. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, he didn't discuss the role of Syria. So will Labor support holding, uh, keeping Assad in power at least until democratic elections are held in order to avoid a power vacuum like for us? No, Penny just said, do you want to answer? I'm a backbench. It's your job. Give me a promotion. <laughs> I, I know that no, I think. very funny. <laughs> uh, that is a tough question. Uh, and I think the reason it's a tough question is because we all know uh, what a side is. And I think uh, certainly in the last term and this term, but you know, I think Tanya and Bill made very clear our views about his regime. Uh, what, we need, what we need to have is, uh, is the international community uh, forge an outcome in Syria. Uh, you may have more optimism. Hello? You may have more optimism about that than I, than I uh, but I think at the moment that looks uh, fraught and difficult and the humanitarian consequences of that have been uh, devastating. Uh, so, uh, I don't have a simple answer to that. Um, we, we all have an aversion, a deep aversion, uh, to some of the outcomes I think we postulate. Uh, but ultimately, we do have to have the international community come together to resolve some form of settlement that ends at the ending of the conflict that we see, the ending of the bloodshed that we see, the extraordinary humanitarian devastation we've seen. Thanks, Penny. I think you'll find you know, in a future Labor government, if we do with the election, we, under Penny's um, you know, stewardship, we won't be making foreign policy on the run, that's for sure, and trying to win a couple of, a handful of votes in a by election. So, who have I got? Hands up. Uh, the lady at the bar there. Next to the uh, Thank you. Uh, I was just interested in the comments you were making about Australia having an influence on human rights for other countries in our region. Uh, notice that with discussions around the TPP, there was an expression within the union movement that, that might be used in some way to undercut the Labor in Australia. 
uh, because conditions aren't the same in countries in our region. And Brenda O'Connor made the comment that we would be trading with people who have held the conventions of the ILO. From my perspective, I can't see that a lot of countries in our region do uphold the uh, values of the ILO. And I just wondered how Brendan's undertaking might play out. Benny, it is Victoria, and we're very, very well informed in Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Look, I, I, I have been, this isn't necessarily a popular position, but I said, you know, I think we should be internationalist in outlook and internationalist in practice. Uh, and uh, for that reason, uh, I have been a supporter of uh, more open trading arrangements. Uh, and I know that isn't necessarily something everyone supports, but I think the economic, uh, I think the, the evidence of that over the last 40 years as we've opened up the economy uh, in terms of benefits for working people, for jobs, uh, and for living standards in Australia, as compared to the period prior to that when we were a highly protected economy, uh, are self evident. Now, that does not mean everyone is working, and I understand that it's uh, the has been raised more broadly about the principles of trade. Uh, I see trade as working when you have a social democratic government that recognises that economic change doesn't fall uh, That we need to invest in people, we need to give them skills, we need to recognise that automation and globalisation have made a lot of for some industries. Uh, on the TPP, um, you know, I gave a speech in the Parliament uh, about why we were supporting it. It wasn't the deal we would have done. There were a range of things in there that were like Foreign Affairs Minister and were Jason <coughs> the Trade Minister uh, and Brent, uh, my own minister, wouldn't have been in there. Uh, and one of the areas is in terms of labour movement uh, and um, the failure to bring, make sure we have sufficient protections on um, the you know, migrant workers, both for their, in terms of their exploitation but also in terms of making sure uh, that we have labour market testing. That is an Australian has the opportunity to get their job at job uh, if they're qualified and that we don't bring workers in who are going to undercut the system. In terms of undercutting the system, I may begin the point. Uh, it is about enforcement, it's not about migrants. Uh, and I think it's important to recognise that we don't point the finger at migrant workers for the fact that there are bosses who do not pay them appropriately, and they should be protected. Um, the final point is about our region. It is the case that many nations of our region do not have the same sort of industrial relations rights that we do, and we should work where we can in the ways that we can, and I know the union movement does, and certainly the government should as well, to try and improve labour standards through the ways, trade agreements and other, uh, other engagement with other nations. Uh, but I would make the point that there are a lot of very uh, people who also want to work their way out of poverty throughout the world. Uh, and trade has been one of the ways in which nations have improved their standard of living. Uh, and I want to see fewer people in poverty worldwide. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I've never been somebody who thought that putting up the barriers uh, is helpful to that agenda. Thanks, Ben. Hands, hands on the top. Oh, yeah, the second row. Yes, thank you. So, we're the first thing So, I think young people generally, there's a high amount of apathy in politics. I think a lot of people, myself included, think, well, how is labour in any way? Um, so I think just to give a general, more general question, but also not kind of hard, um, how do you plan to address kind of the severe cynicism towards politics in this country, which I think is right for this Sure. Uh, well, a few comments about that. <clears throat> uh, yes, the political class uh, needs to do better, probably, so that the people who put us there. Uh, I made the point whenever it was elected to people, to, to people who are sort of saying, oh, we need a better stand up, pull it off the chair. 
Um, mm. And so we need a better standard of debate. And I said, well, the problem is if you elect people with their views three words slogans, then you're going to keep getting elected people who use three words slogans. So, you know, politicians respond to incentives. Instead of someone who doesn't use them very often, probably quite do better if I did. <laughs> in the uh, second, uh, I understand uh, your cynicism. What I'd say to you is politics will affect you whether or not you're interested. And I always think if you're interested, you may as well, if, if you're going to be affected, you may as well be interested. You may as well not only hold us to account, but also engage in, in the activism in the community that changes policy. I mean, if you look at the history of the feminist movement, we didn't get equal pay, we didn't get sex discrimination, we didn't get a multiculturalism and the race discrimination, right? we didn't get superannuation, we didn't get way, you know, the wage equity, we didn't get any of those things without people both in the parliament and in the community. On matters of Nauru, I understand the position uh, you've articulated. I went into parliament as somebody who didn't believe there was such a thing as a bull And I changed my mind. You know, um, I did that on the evidence that was presented to me. That wasn't a decision that I enjoyed coming from. It wasn't a position that I enjoyed realising. So the question then was, well, how do we manage this? I'll tell you one thing we want to do is to have a system of indefinite punitive detention, which is what this government has imposed on people. So you can have an argument or a discussion about one of the best policy issues. What the government is doing in terms of implementing it, I think is, is wrong. It's wrong. And not only should we ensure that children have a better care than they and are brought to Australia for that, but more broadly, uh, we should not be in a position where people have been uh, in this situation for years because this government has not thought, not thought, uh, to ensure that uh, countries are further from the countries we see. Probably the point I make about there's no difference. Well, I'm just going to disagree. You see, I think as an agent there's a pretty big difference between a party that isn't prepared to support people like Paul Rings and some of the party that is. Uh, I think anybody who cares about medical or goes to a public hospital or goes to a public school, they probably think there's a bit of a difference too. We put in place the largest age pension increase in the nation's history, so I reckon pensioners might reckon there's a difference between not you know, what they want to lower uh, pay raise the pension of each. I reckon women might reckon there's a bit different between a party that actually cares about pay equity, uh, that cares about ensuring that we try and reduce the gap in the wages between men and women. I think parents and kids might think it's different because we have a client who's actually been to invest in early childhood and I reckon when it comes to climate change, I'm very happy to put our record up against it. So I have to beg to think but I don't reckon there's no difference. Uh, I, think, I think you may need Shen, would you have a team to move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem from Israel? Very simple. Would I agree to do that? Yes. No. I think I made that clear the last couple of years. Watch TV, I'll tell you. Can I just look? Jokes aside, I actually found that this government, uh, I think, seven decades of my partisanship on, on this issue, recognising that Jerusalem is a final status issue, that you know, if we support a two-state solution, both parties have supported a two-state solution, people have different views on how to get there, including a type of other party, people have different views about what is the best way to facilitate. But they made uh, a decision in 48 hours to trash my partisanship on this issue, to change position without advice from the foreign affairs, without telling Australian Defence Force, uh, without properly communicating it with our uh, partners and allies, particularly in Indonesia. Uh, for what? Because they wanted to get more votes in the level of five I just think that's actually objectionable uh, and wrong. So there's the policy problem with it, but I think the whole, there's the process problem with it too, which is demonstrably put domestic politics and international. Uh, we're going to have a few more questions up the front here. I, I, I actually should quite, quite qualify that. I think the only way, what, the circumstances in which you can do that is if you actually can achieve peace in the Middle East, a two-state Palestinian and Israeli state, and the status of Jerusalem is resolved. Um, I don't think it's one to ask 
one of the things so much of my time in favour of green was this I think is really pertinent, especially for our here around Brunswick. Instead of really focusing on who the enemy is and fighting the conservatives. Well, I'm happy to actually talk about that. Well, there's only one of those two parties with respect that actually seeks to take votes off the Conservatives, and that's the Labor Party. So, you know, I understand my view about the Greens political party, and I know it's a bit different here in Victoria. Things are, I don't quite understand all of Victorian politics, but anyway. <laughs> um, oh, oh, there are some issues on which we agree, there's some issues on, on which we disagree. I would agree with them on some things more than the coalition, but there is a couple of things, and that is where we fight the government. Uh, and that brings with it challenges, responsibility. Uh, as I have often said, one of the differences is we have to talk to people who don't agree with us. We have to convince people of, to change their position. Uh, because we have to win government, not just in Brothers Week, in Melbourne and Victoria, but in North Queensland, and in outer suburbs of Western Sydney, and in Perth and Western Australia. These are very different um, cultures across Australia, and the Labor has always had to forge an alliance, in a broad sense, between different parts of Australia uh, around, around uh, I suppose, a, a vision of what this country can be. Uh, and that is where we have to go and talk to people. Well, we had a conversation just before we were trying to go to people and talk to people who don't agree with us and try and change their mind. The Greens political party is a different agenda. You know, they, they are seeking a Senate quota fundamentally or um, one or two seats around Australia. So it's a, it's a different agenda. Also, as far, the former finance minister, I would say he was we actually I'm not just saying it, but... Um... Oh, well, I'd only add to that, and, and I'm sure people in the Greens political party, and even my friends as well, they introduce their intentions there, um, that would go into it for the right reasons. But, I mean, Penny didn't mention this, but she was part of this at the time. And sometimes, the, well, often the perfect is the enemy of the good. So when they voted against the CPRS 10, 11 years ago, now, um, it was you know, from their perspective for the right reasons, but we ended up getting nothing. And politics is not an easy game. It's kind of, you know, tough to get the outcomes. If you get 80% something, grab it and build on it. And that's why all the great reforms in this country have actually made Australia the country we today. And I got into, I ran for office because I thought within the Labor Party, it's a party of government. Informed government and actually can have outcomes that change people's lives because it changed my family's life. We grew up in a housing commission, 